Hello everyone. Okay, today I've been tested to look at self management by um Council Christopher Chitumbo. Okay, so self management skills allow you to maximize your productivity as an author and improve your authorship performance and efficiently achieve your professional goals. Improving your self-management skills can help you increase your employability and better manage your career path. In this presentation, we are simply going to identify self-management skills in professional authorship writing. Before I go further on the lesson, let's first answer the question of what are self-management skills. These skills, I would look at them as abilities that allow a professional author to control their thoughts, feelings, and actions. If the professional author has strong self-management skills, then he or she will be able to set goals independently and take the initiative to achieve them. Purposeful self-management can help the author direct the trajectory of his or her career and ensure, his, uh, ensure he or she seek opportunities that get him or her closer to the goals. Let's now look at examples of self-management skills. Okay, so self-management skills focus on personal skills in the following areas. Organizing, goal setting, time management, self-motivation, stress management, and accountability. So let me shed more light by what I, what I mean by organization. As a professional author, you can apply your organization skills to your time, physical space, energy, and mental capabilities to establish neatness and improve functionality. So if you as a professional author are well organized, you'll be able to plan, prioritize, and execute important activities that will help you self-manage your essential authorship responsibilities. Okay, so now let's look at goal setting. This is the ability to determine what you want to achieve in a clear and well-defined manner. Goal setting in authorship helps to uh, it helps the author to decide what's important and create an action plan that will help him or her achieve goals that align with the, those values. This skill is necessary to maintain productivity in author authorship because it enables the author to manage their time and actions. Time management. Strong time management allows a professional author to prioritize tasks, avoid distractions, and maintain focus. Effective time management in the workplace helps with setting and meeting deadlines, working on one thing at a time and delegating responsibilities appropriately. Managing your time is essential part of managing yourself. Self-motivation. This is the ability to take initiative and finish tasks that uh, you know should be completed. When you are self-motivated, you anticipate and plan for potential tasks needed. Okay, for potential tasks needed to achieve more significant ass um, assignments or to solve ongoing issues. You are driven by your desire to succeed and not by outside uh, factors, which makes you more productive in authorship. Self-motivation is the 
side of self-management that ensures forward progress with uh, your project or your book writing activities stress management as a professional author you go through a lot of stress so it's important that you, you also learn how to manage your stress so stress management can take many forms from maintaining a health diet and exercising or having an exercising exercise regimen to proactively engaging in activities like meditating or journaling out your experiences proactively managing authorship stressors can help you as a professional author to remain calm on the job of book writing handling stress before it becomes an issue also allows you as a professional author to focus on your goals and make steady progress as you are writing your book managing stress also helps you as a professional author to control your emotions and maintain a professional demeanor in authorship accountability accountability in authorship and self-management can be looked at as an act of taking personal ownership of your thoughts and actions when you maintain responsibility you are better equipped to evaluate your work and determine the best way to proceed okay so now let's look at um, how to improve self-management skills you can do this by enhancing your self-management skills by actively focusing on ways on ways you can um, direct evaluate and improve upon your daily tasks okay so here are some few ways you can improve your self-management skills one assess your strengths determining what professional tasks you best at and focusing on ways to maximize okay on ways uh, to maximize your abilities in these areas can help you as a professional author to know in which field you can best write the your books also understanding your strength helps you manage your career path in a way that makes the most of skills like coding technical writing graphic uh, design script writing or customer service okay so let's look at number two prioritizing your responsibility clearly define which responsibilities are most important and focus your attention on the most critical jobs avoiding distractions that draw you away from what matters Number three, develop organization systems. You can find effective methods that help you manage your time, streamline your daily activities, and keep important items in easy to find places. This step might include using an agenda book, uh, setting up a time management app on your phone, or, or creating a a filling system at your desk where you do most of the writing create a strict uh, deadlines number four is to create strict deadlines this can be done by assigning uh, deadlines to each stage of uh, a project or book that you're writing or chapter of your book and also maintaining your schedule you can hold yourself accountable for getting tasks done on or ahead of schedule by committing to put in more hours when needed to reach your self-designated checkpoints. You can perform one task at a time, focus your time, energy and abilities on a single task at any given moment. You can complete each task fully before moving on 
to another so that you are managing your time and effort efficiently. Number six, practice care of your health and wellness. As a professional author, I also expect you to maintain a proper diet, exercise regularly, care for your personal hygiene, and actively focus on lowering your stress levels. This can be best achieved by taking breaks to stretch and clear your mind. With a clear mind, it helps you to be focused as you are writing. You can also keep healthy snacks at work and look for opportunities for physical activities such as brisk walk on your lunch hour. Evaluate your progress. Objectively assess the progress you have made towards your goals by setting checkpoints along the way and tracking your accomplishments to see if you have met them. You can ask a mentor for assistance to get a well-rounded critique of your book. You can use this feedback to improve your self-management going forward. So this suffices to say that uh, professional writing is a stressful job and one needs to have good self-management skills in order for them to come up with a good book. Alright, in summary, what I would say about self-management skills is that it is a requirement for professional authors as it helps them to acquire skills and abilities that, are can, that can allow them to control their thoughts, feelings and action. And also, it can help them have. Uh, it can help them to have um, to have a plan that will help them come up with priorities as they are coming up with chapters of their book. So thank you very much, Akansi Stumbo, and the team of Professional Authors International, for this opportunity. Be blessed. <laughs>